Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in this tutorial, we'll uh, I'll tell you guys as to how to do some routine operations that routine operations that re that uh, revolves around matrices. Now, uh, if you guys uh, ha if you guys are working in uh, some courses like numerical method numerical methods or uh, uh, some linear algebra cl linear algebra classes or or you are working with some uh, uh, research pro research programs or doing some research wherein you have a lot of matrices and you want and you have to repeatedly calculate the system calculate the answers for a system of simultaneous equations or solve a system of simultaneous equations you have a matrix find the determinant and everything find the determinant find the inverse and everything and so on and so forth if you want to do these kind of jobs on a regular base routine basis okay then uh, you may have to write a program that runs again and again. Now, instead, what I can, what I'm telling you guys is that there's another e easy way to do it. Uh, Python has a lot of feature. Python has a lot of modules and features using which you can do, do all this job in a very simple manner. Okay, in a very simple manner. Okay, you can do all the mattress job like uh, solve a system of simultaneous equations such as this. Okay, you have five equations, five unknowns. You can solve this to get the solution for each of them, each of the values. Okay, and then all, not only that, you, if you want, you can calculate the inverse of matrices, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, determinants, and other little features that are available in matrix available very easily. Okay. Okay. Now let's see how this how this is done. Okay. First thing. Okay. Let's look at the system of simultaneous equation. We're going to solve this equation today. Okay. Now, if you look at it, there are like five equations, five unknowns. Okay, and if you want to solve this by hand, it will be, it will take some time. And if you want to write a program, you may have to do a, you may have to invoke a Gauss elimination method or a Gauss Jacobi method or something of that sort, and you have to work with them and everything. Now, instead, you don't have to work, you don't have to do all that. There is a feature available in, there is a linear algebra solver available in Python that does the same. Okay, now let me ex now uh, before the before I explain, go on with it. Okay, this is the code which I sh which it shows. Okay, now let me explain what this code and how this is actually translated. If I go to my journal, okay, now let me just uh, write. Let me just keep this aside. Okay, now let me start writing all this. Now. Your equation stands like 5x1 plus 6x2 plus 2x3 plus 3x4 plus 3x5 equals 19, right? Now, like that, if you notice, there are five equa five. If you notice, there are like uh, five coefficients. You have like five variables repeating in all these equations, and you have five coefficients. Since you have, uh, since you know, in your, you have five equations, so you have like in total 25 coefficients for the matter, coefficients for the, uh, the. Uh, 25 coefficients in total, 5 coefficients each for each of your uh, variable. So what this can be done is that if you guys have done a linear algebra course or some ma matrix multiplication ever in your life, matrix operation ever in your life, you'll understand what's going on. What I can do is that I can write this as 5, 6, 2, 3, 3. Okay, forgive me for my bad handwriting. Just writing this my graphic tablet it doesn't work nice but I mean I mean it works nice I'm just uh, kind of uh, new to it so uh, if I so I'm not that good with that right up now so just forgive me if my handwriting is illegible or uh, something of that sort what I can say is that you can just write the coefficients like this okay just following up nicely 1 2 minus 12 minus 4, 1, minus 5, okay, 2, 5, okay, and then what I do is that on the right hand side, uh, the variables can be written like this, in a separate matrix, like x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, now, this should be equal to your right hand side, okay, which is given as uh, 19, minus 12 minus 20 okay i think that 12 did not turn out to be right it didn't turn out to be nicely okay so minus 12 29 
minus 4 and 6. Now what we can do is that if, we, if this can be written as ax equals b where a is this matrix x is this unknown matrix and b is your right hand side. Now what can be done is that is that okay now with uh, with the matrices a and b you can calculate the value of matrix x okay that's what we're going to do over here we write this entire matrix a as a two as a phi cross phi numpy array as a phi cross phi numpy array like this okay this this becomes uh, now a becomes your input matrix or your coefficient matrix so if you see since this matrix has all the coefficients a is actually a coefficient matrix and b which has all the right which has all your right hand sides b becomes a right hand side matrix okay and now uh, what you can do what you have to do is that if you want to find the proper answer for x okay uh, x should be a inverse of b reason now if you multiply a inverse uh, in the proper order on both sides proper on, on order on both sides if you matrix multiply a inverse and a what you'll have is that you'll have an identity matrix i uh, okay i think i wrote i wrote this a little wrong okay a inverse multiplied by a okay now let me just push this up fully okay a inverse times a and if i multiply a inverse over here okay and then b over here now what happens is that a inverse by matrix multi identity a inverse multiplied my with dot multiplication of a inverse under matrix equals identity matrix which is identity matrix so you'll get i x equals a inverse of b now if you multiply any matrix multiplied with the identity matrix is the same so what you'll have is that x will be your a inverse b so this will be a solution okay uh, your x matrix will be x uh, vector or matrix whichever you call it your column matrix will be the uh, will be the pro will, will have whose solution will be given by a inverse multiplied by b and if you want to do that operation over here what you need is that uh, there is an option called as linear numpy called as linear g dot solve Linear algae is actually a class which is linear algebra solver and that solve is a function available in that it is going to solve it okay and there are two cases now if a is like uh, square matrix if you see uh, this matrix is phi cross phi with both the number of rows and number of columns being equal so it's a square matrix sometimes you might get it you might get a situation where sometimes you might get a situation wherein you have uh, five equations but uh, let's see six equations and five unknowns you just need five equations five unknowns to solve them but suppose if you have six equations but five unknowns okay one equation becomes redundant but uh, you can also so but using that as well you can solve it okay In those kind of cases your a matrix will become rectangular meaning your number of rows uh, becomes one more than the number of columns okay now okay in those kind of cases uh, you can uh, use lst sq to do it okay now let me run all this okay let me run all this copy this and let me paste it over here okay let me run this together okay i uh, my variable let me clear all my variables up over here okay now if i save the if i run this there you have it now your a matrix has all the coefficients your b matrix has all the right hand sides and your x matrix uh, at the end of this computation over here which has a solution now if you don't believe me don't don't, don't believe me look at the look at the values over here if we just add all the coefficients 5 6 2 3 3 you'll get 19 if x x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 all of them are equal to 1 you'll get uh, then this uh, the equation becomes 19 similarly if you do all this for all of this the solution for this and uh, is true is one and uh, if you just want to confirm that there is this command called as np dot all close np dot uh, a comma x comma b i'll explain what is going on okay uh, okay what is do what uh, this does is uh, see uh, a and b are actually uh, numpy arrays and their dimensions are different 
So if we just multiply, if we just type a slash a asterisk b, it won't work. It will just throw an error. For instance, just watch. Uh, a star b. If I just press enter. Okay, it did multiply. Okay, what happens is that it goes. It does elemental multiplication. On the other hand, I, what I need is that I don't want the elemental multiple. I mean, uh, each element of B is multiplied with the corresponding each element of A. That is what happens. Okay, but I don't want. Suppose if you want to do a, a matrix multiplication with arrays, numpy arrays. Okay, I need to use this function called as dot. This uh, feature called as dot. Now what this this does is it'll 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 make a dot product of A and X. Now if I were to do that, if I, watch. Uh, uh, np dot np np dot a comma a comma x okay if we do np dot a comma x it'll it'll do a matrix multiplication okay with a and b and uh, if you guys notice if you do a matrix multiplic if you do a matrix multiplication uh, a has phi cross phi and your x has uh, five rows and one column so this will cancel out so your resulting matrix will have let's say your ma resulting matrix is capital B this will have five cross one this will have five cross one and that's how we have it this matrix resulting matrix is nothing so a np dot n np dot dot is actually used for doing matrix multiplication for arrays Okay, and this command np dot all close. What it says is that it says whether this value and this value are same. Okay, uh, to a maximum possible tolerance limit. Okay, and if you run this, you get the you get the value true. Okay, because uh, because it's because it's the same. Suppose if I were to modify b uh, somewhere in the bit somewhere in between. Okay. I, I solved B over here. Now I just modify B over here. Let me just copy all this. I paste it over here. Instead of this 29, I just set this to minus 30. Okay, minus 23, whichever. Now if I run this, it will throw false. Because this multiplication and this result is not closing. They're not closing. They're not the same. You know, it's not closing properly. And that's what I mean over here. So this, this kind of check shows that your uh solving matrix solving matrices is correct or not okay and if you want if you want uh, more uh, definitions or explanation as to what's going on okay your uh, the document the in, in, inbuilt documentation has inbuilt documentation in your spider shows all of them gives explanation parameters output and uh, some examples some examples 2d uh, to, um, examples and everything Fair, fairly straightforward, fairly straightforward, fairly simple. So you guys can have a look at this if you guys want to know what's going on. Okay, now that's about uh, solving system of simultaneous equations. Okay, next, what we can do is that not only that, not only that, if you, if you want to calculate the inverse of a matrix, let's say, it's also possible. For that, what you need is that you just need this command called as i and v, and that's it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this line, okay, copy this line, okay, I paste it over here, okay, press enter, and there you have it, okay, this mat now this matrix will be the inverse of A, okay, so let's see, now to check it, let me store this result, A and B equals uh, lin a and np dot linear g dot inverse inverse of a so as and when I type look at this it computes the multiplicative inverse of the matrix or an array okay now if I press enter okay now if I, now what I do if I press enter check this out your matrix a is like this your matrix inverse is this okay now what I do is that these two mat okay now these two are matrices I mean arrays 2d arrays so I need to use np dot dot uh, uh, let me say prod equals np dot dot okay a comma a inverse okay 
and if I press enter, okay, let's just check it out. If you look at the prod, pro, if you look at the product, okay, uh, it's an identity matrix, okay. Remember in, ma remember in high school, ma remember in high school mathematics and in advanced mathematics, we saw that the multiplication of a matrix and its inverse is always returns an identity matrix, and there you have it. So this way, you're able to calculate this way with this command, uh, np dot dot in inv. You're able to calculate the inverse of a matrix by using Python directly. Okay. Not only that. Okay. Uh, if you want, you can calculate pseudo inverse as it also, but uh, I don't see much difference between a pseudo inverse and a normal inverse. Like there might be a difference, but let's see. Okay, let's see the object variable and stuff to see what's going on. Uh, so okay, okay. Um, let me just type p i n v equals np dot linear g dot p i n v okay p i n v dot a okay okay what is this is that it just calculates the more penrose pseudo inverse i have no idea what that means but uh, it's uh you know the explanation is given over here it just says that the v a uh okay that it just the definitions go or uh, I mean it's given over here I even I haven't tried this at all I haven't tried this at all I just ca I just found it and I was searching for a few dog few documentation I just found it it's not it's not relevant but if you guys want to know how what this uh, uh, Moore Penrose pseudo, Moore Penrose uh, inverse looks like or pseudo inverse looks like you can refer to this place Gilbert Strang book but uh, author names Gilbert Strang and he wrote a book called uh, Linear Algebra and Applications. You can check this out if you guys want. But that's not much of relevant for our work as of now. But if you guys are curious, you can always check it out. Not a problem. Okay. And uh, that's about it. That's about this part. Okay. Now let's move to the next part. Okay. We calculated the solution, system of solution for a system of simultaneous equations. We calculated the inverse and the uh, pseudo inverse. Okay, and if you want to do the calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, it's again possible. For that, what you need is that you just need this command eig. Simple as that. Okay, now using this unpack method, what this is this does is that you just if you feed in a matrix, okay, now and if you write it or write it on the and if you give arguments on the right, right left hand side like this, all the eigenvalues go to the matrix. Eigval. Uh, to the variable or object 